A spectacle of military might here at Chai Air Base on Taiwan's western coast facing China. We flew here by military plane from Taipei. It's about a 40-minute flight. And we're getting pretty unique access to Taiwan's newly upgraded fighter fleet. These are F-16 Vs. They're older F-16s upgraded with new radar, new computer systems, kind of like upgrading your iPhone to the latest model. Taiwan is also ordering a new batch of brand new F-16Bs that are expected to arrive beginning in 2023. Nonetheless, the reality is Taiwan is facing a widening military gap with the mainland. Even these highly sophisticated fighters, and they showed us their Top Gun style moves, they would have a hard time competing in direct aerial combat with some of the fighter jets that the People's Liberation Air Force uh, has unveiled. And some of those fighter planes have been flying near Taiwan in record numbers, including uh, 150 in just five days at the beginning of October. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen is here. She was waving to the troops, waving to the planes as they flew by, inspecting these new aircraft, and even handing out pay bonuses to the pilots. Because one of the reasons that Taiwan's military is having a hard time finding recruits is because the salaries just aren't competitive when you compare them with civilian pilots. You also have the director of the de facto U.S. Embassy, the American Institute of Taiwan, here showing that there is a U.S. presence, albeit not an official diplomatic presence on the ground in Taiwan. But we know that there's been increasing military cooperation between the United States and Taiwan. Just over the last couple of years, hundreds of military exchanges have taken place with personnel from the United States coming here to train the Taiwanese military and also Taiwanese personnel going and training in the United States as well. All of this to try to guard against what many analysts see as an increasingly assertive mainland with an increasingly powerful military, uh, a military that President Xi Jinping of China has said repeatedly could be used to retake this island, which it claims as its own territory, by force if necessary. Will Ripley, CNN at Chiayi Air Base in Taiwan.